Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of another neat little micro FPV racer. This is the XF100. Uh, it's available in uh, Fly Sky, uh, Free Sky, DSM, and almost ready to fly. Now, it comes with an F3 flight control board, but it's loaded up with a beta, on beta flight with an unusual uh, version of a flight control board. It's called Pico Blocks 3.1.0. Uh, that's the first time I've seen seen that. Um, it does come with 8,000 8, kV motors, uh, but with 6 amp ESC, 401 ESCs on board here. Now looking at it, this is another one of those that come with uh, uh, five bladed props. Uh, I've been seeing this recently. There's some new ones coming out with five bladed props. Uh, the ones that I've seen so far are pretty darn cool. They actually provide a lot of power to this, uh, to uh, brush motors, brushless motor quadcopters, I'm sorry. Uh, other things that this uh, XF100 comes with, comes with a beeper and LED bars on the back, so uh, you have an audible warning. It does not have on-screen display though, unfortunately. Uh, that would have been, I would have really liked to have seen that. Now, the receivers for the Bind and Fly versions come installed on the top of the uh, quadcopter, um, and that makes it very easy to access the Bind button, which is right here for my uh, uh, I have the Fly Sky version here, so I have to press that button down while simultaneously plugging in the quadcopter uh, to power up that so that I can bind it. Uh, that, unfortunately, is difficult to do, so I need to help my wife to do that. <laughs> so you're going to probably need four hands to bind it. You know, this is one of the, another one of those ones that needs four hands to bind. Uh, what I haven't gone over yet, uh, 800 TVL camera, 40 channel uh, FPV receiver, and uh, 200 or 450 milliamp per hour battery, uh, 2S battery powers this particular quadcopter. Uh, so, looking at uh, the all in one camera, the all in one camera's FPV antenna is protected by this roll bar here. <laughs> so, that provides some protection in case of crashes. And that's about it, folks. Let's go into a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's go give it a flight. I uh, got it armed and selecting acro. And we're going to fly it in acro, see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight of the XF100. Okay, we are armed. Oh, maybe I got to do this to arm it too. I'm not sure why it's not taking off, folks. Okay, I got something messed up here. <laughs> um, right now it's only arming in air mode so we're gonna fly it in air mode folks hope you enjoy this flight and uh, away we go let's see how it performs first wow lots of lots of takeoff power there there's a lot of power on this quadcopter surprisingly a lot of power so I gotta lower the throttle really low to fly it but let's see how it performs Went through the trees. Very responsive to the throttle. You gotta be very gentle with the throttle on this one. But it's flying. Okay, let's go up high a bit and try this. It beeps a bit. On that throttle from the the roll, try the other roll in the other direction. I'm not, I don't believe that beep right now, folks. See, it seems to start beeping when I give it a lot of throttle. But let's let's stay down low for the remainder of the flight and try through flying through the trees to see how it performs. Went around this tree. Went through these trees. Went through these trees here. Coming around here. Now, the only warning I got here is the beeper. There's no on-screen display with this. Uh, it would be nice to have on-screen display to see what the actual voltage is, because I don't trust that beeper. It's just has it's been too soon to be going off at this time. But but it's it's maneuver a little thing, and, and like I said, it's got a lot of punch, a lot of punch. And I have to be real careful with that throttle. That's why I'm saying that that beeper's inaccurate right now because I got plenty of punch on it. There's no way that that battery's tired. Come on. 
Tons of punch. Look how fast it get in the air. Plenty of lifting power from those uh, five liter props. So, all in all, yo, yeah. Actually, this could be quite acrobatic, I, I feel, in freestyle flying. Unfortunately, I'm not that good at freestyle flying, so I'm gonna hold it easy there. But I can see lots of people having fun with this thing. Easily go over the trees, see what I mean? I'm ignoring the beeper, like I said, though, folks, because there's so much punch on this. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe I start. I'll start uh, obeying the beeper here shortly, though. But good flyer. This one would be what I would consider a sport flyer because of the way it can accelerate, because of the punch it's got. Okay, we're gonna. Start believing the beeper here shortly. I'm going to go around the trees one more time and then I'm going to land it because those beeps are starting to increase in frequency. We'll go around us. <laughs> and yeah, hear how it's beeping? Okay, I'm believing that now. So that's the flight of it. Uh, disarming. And I got it set up to when it's disarmed that it's going to beep constantly. XF100. Punchy little thing. <laughs> Very, a lot of punch, a lot of power on it. Uh, you can feel it. Uh, give it a little throttle and that thing will go vroom. So I got a feeling people are gonna be doing lots of acrobatics with this particular one here because, because of that punch. So I enjoyed it, uh, I enjoyed it. So it's Quadcopter 101, hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.